Hey everyone, 8-Bit Kevin here. Uh, today I'm going to uh, try out the One Piece card game tutorial app. <clears throat> I know I've been meaning to do it, I just haven't had the time. And the reason why, the main reason why, uh, is because I got into my LCS's uh, super pre-release event, which is amazing considering that uh, the pre-release event only has eight spots and they're doing two days, so uh, one on a Sunday and one on a Wednesday, and I got into the Wednesday one. Um, if I can, I will try to vlog the experience because it's really cool, but uh, we're gonna do the tutorial app today. So, uh, you know, let's just get started. Uh, <laughs> I'm really excited because uh, I've always wanted to, to try this out. And I've always wanted to learn. I, I don't wanna just collect. Um, I wanna actually learn to play. So we're gonna go to tutorial mode one. And yes, we'll begin the tutorial mode one. Uh, maybe I'll highlight this, maybe I'll do a full video. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure out. Uh, editing Kevin will figure it out. So tutorial mode one, let's start with the tutorial. Tutorial mode one introduces you to the basic rules of the game. So it's my turn. During the refresh phase, return all Dawn cards attached to your cards to your field, or on your field to your cost area and all rested cards on your field as active. You cannot do anything else during this phase. During the draw phase, draw one card from your deck and add it to your hand. Okay. During the dawn phase, draw two cards from the top of your dawn deck and place them in your cost area face up. You can take various actions during main phase, uh, including playing a card using card's effect and attacking. Let's start by playing Zoro from your hand. To play a card, you'll need to pay its cost. So, uh, it looks like Zoro has three cost. Um, let's just play him. So we'll swipe up to the character area. Take Zoro from your hand and place the, the card in the character area. Pay Zoro's cost of 3 to play the card. A card cannot attack on the turn it's played. So I'll swipe up. Or just place him. Oh, BB's on the field. Now let's try attacking your opponent. To attack, you'll rest one of your upright active cards by turning it sideways. Let's, let, let's rest your leader card Luffy and declare your attack. You can choose to attack your opponent's leader or one of their rested character cards. Your opponent doesn't have any rested character cards at the moment, so let's attack the leader. Okay, that's interesting. So do I just tap? Or do I s oh, I swipe. Okay, I swipe and pull. Okay. So they're countering. Um, use event cards and character cards to power up your leader. Uh, your opponent has used the counter step to increase their leader's power. During counter step, the player can increase their card's power by using an event card or a character card from their hand. Oh, so now I'm rested? Your opponent was able to defend their card against your attack by increasing its power. Let's use a Dawn card to strengthen one of your character cards by giving an active Dawn card in your cost area to a leader or character you can increase their power during your turn by 1000 per Dawn card. Try giving a Dawn card to Vivi. Okay, so I just drag and drop. Next up, let's use your leader's effect. This effect allows you to give one rested Dawn card to your leader or character. Let's give one Dawn card to Vivi. So I use the skill, uh, active, activate main, once per turn, uh, give this give this leader or one of your characters one rested dawn card. So I have a rested dawn card, oh I choose the character, Vivi's power is now 6000 so let's try attacking your opponent's leader. Oh, okay so it automatically took the rested dawn card for me so I'm going to drag and attack Kaido. <laughs> There we go. Vivi kills Kaido. That's that's the theory. Just kidding. I, I don't know what's going on with Kaido now in the story, but <laughs> Vivi kills Kaido. Your opponent didn't do anything during the counter step, so Vivi won this time, and your opponent's life has decreased by one. The lost life card is added to your opponent's hand. So is it? So it's like prizes, like in Pokemon. That's the end of your turn. Remember, any Dawn cards used, uh, any Dawn, card, Dawn cards you give to car to cards. Uh, but I can read. I swear. Remember, any Dawn cards you give to cards will only increase their power during your turn. Okay, so I turn end. It's the enemy's turn. So Vivi's uh, power has gone down back to 4,000. So let's use the counter step to increase Vivi's power. Your Brook card can increase the card's power by 2,000, so let's use this card. So we have counter cards in our hand. You can use a character's counter without any cost. Just be careful you don't use too many of them or they'll run out of cards. So we're countering. All right, so that rests X Drake. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened there. So let's not use a counter this time and let Vivi get KO'd. Never let Vivi get KO'd. 
Uh, KO'd cards are trashed. Vivi's not trash. And any Dawn cards give, given to them are arrested and returned to your cost area. So we're going to pass the counter step. So, hold on. I'm a little confused because Vivi attacked the leader, right? Or did she attack X Drake? I, I don't remember. Your opponent has zero life. To win the game, you attack your opponent's leader when your opponent has zero life remaining. You're almost there. So let's give an active dome card to Zoro. The dome card increases Zoro's power 1,000, so it's 7,000. Try using Zoro's attack on your opponent's leader. Okay. And they're going to counter with Blast Breath. So what's that mean? Your opponent uses a vet card during their counter step. This card has a power effect which is used by returning dome cards to your dome deck. You can give multiple dome cards. You can you can give multiple active dome cards to a card. Let's give any remaining dome cards to your leader, Luffy, and then attack. So I can keep giving him dome cards. Oh! So as long as I have active dome cards, I can always put them. So that's interesting resource management. Um, I guess we'll attack Kaido. I, w I was thinking dome cards more in line with something like energies, um, like in Pokemon. I mean, I, I only really know Pokemon in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have this sort of system. Pokemon does. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see that. I I'm trying to learn this before the pre release. Your opponents can't defend against Luffy's attack, so Luffy wins. Your opponent has zero life remaining, so you've won the game. Okay, we cleared that. So we're gonna go to tutorial mode. Two. How, how, is there four tutorials? I guess we'll go through the four. Your hand isn't very good this time. In this game, you can redraw your hand one time. Give it a go. Oh, we could redraw our first hand, that's awesome. So we'll redraw our first hand. Now that's a much better hand. So I have one life, they have two. So let's just start the tutorial. Tutorial mode two introduces you to some of the more detailed rules of the game. The player going first can't draw a card on their first turn. During the dawn phase, you have two dawn cards to your cost area. The player going first adds only one dawn card or only one card to their hand. Let's play Chopper from your hand. So we're gonna play Chopper as a character. Since you can't use your leader to attack on your first turn, let's end their turn. So I'm trying to understand the flow of this. So now let's play Thousand Sunny from your hand. Stage cards are played by placing them on the field. While they're on your field, you can activate their effects. I can't even see what it's doing. Why don't we use Thousand Sunny's effect on your leader Luffy? Thousand Sunny can increase your leader's or one of your character's power by 1000 during this turn. So we're powering up Luffy. Next up, let's use leader Luffy's effect. Give one of your rested dome cards to your leader Luffy. So rested. Give the leader, give this leader one or, give this leader or one of your characters one rested dome card. I swear I can read. So I just click on myself. So okay, now try attacking your opponent's Kaido leader. Powered up Luffy. And they're going to counter. Of course. So your opponent used Jin Rumi's counter effect from their hand. By trashing a counter card from their hand, a player can increase the card's power during that battle. Your opponent Kaido has gained an extra thousand power for this battle, so the card's power is now 6,000, but still lower. So they're doing it again? Your opponent has gone and used Ulti's counter effect from their hand. Their Kaido is gaining an additional 2,000 power for the battle, so their power is 8,000. Your attack failed this time. So are there no repercussions to, to a failed attack? So it just rests Luffy? So... I, I'm wondering if the repercussion of failing your attack and resting your leader causes it so that when they attack, they have the opportunity to go for your life. So maybe that's it? Uh, Jack's on play effect can be activated by playing the cost. Your opponent can your opponent has trashed one sheep sheed card from their hand and activated their Jack's on play effect. They've earned one Dawn card. 
Your opponent used Sheep Sheet to attack Luffy. You're about to take some damage. You could use the blocker effect on your chopper in your battle area, but well, let's try using the counter to protect Luffy's card. Or Luffy this turn. So I have guard point. So when your opponent attacks, you can play this card by playing its cost. This card's effect increases one of your card's power by 3,000 for this battle. Let's use this effect on Leader Luffy. If you, you increase Luffy's power to 8,000, you'll be able to defend against Sheep Sheep's attack. <clears throat> How do I use it? I'm not going to try Oh, okay. Sure. Your leader or one of your character gains 3,000 pow 3, power during this battle. So we'll give it to Leader Luffy so their attack fails, causing them to go rested. Kaido was able to attack Luffy this time. Let's not use a blocker. Instead, let's let... Instead, let's defend Luffy again with a counter. So let's activate Robin's counter effect from your hand. Luffy is now more powerful than Kaido, so you can defend the attack against the attack. Alright, so it just rests him. We're still at the same amount of life. Let's play Sanji from your hand. Okay. Now let's give two Dome cards to Sanji. Once you do that, you'll be able to activate Sanji's Rush. Rush allows a card to attack during the turn it's played. So we give two, and then his power goes up to 6,000. We're going to use Sanji's attack. So I'm going to attack Kaido, because he's rested. They did not counter, or they did? They did not counter. So they lost one life. You dealt some damage to Kaido. Uh, so it's a trigger. Adds one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and set it as active. What's this? It looks like your opponent has a trigger. When you take damage, if a card with a trigger is added to your hand, you can activate that effect without paying any cost. Your opponent has used their Brachio Bomber trigger effect to gain one Dawn card. Let's use your Thousand Sunny effect on Leader Luffy again. So this one uh, gains a thousand. So he's six thousand. Then let's activate Leader Luffy's effect and give Luffy one Dawn card. So we do one rested Dawn. Now it's time to attack Kaido with your powered up Luffy. So 7,000, is he gonna counter? No, so now his life is zero, but he got another trigger and got more Dawn cards. Next up, play Chopper from your hand, so we're gonna put another Chopper on the field. So we got a multiple on the field. There's nothing else you can do. Let's finish your turn. Okay, I guess I gotta finish my turn. Oh, so if I'm understanding this, I have active cards in the field that... I have cards that are active, or character cards that are active, in comparison to my leader. So if they're active, they can't attack my leader? Unless they're all rested? Uh, I'm so confused. Queen has a real powerful blocker. This isn't looking good. Queen's on play effect can be activated by paying the cost. Your opponent returned one Dawn card to their Dawn deck and activated Queen's on play effect. They've drawn two cards and trashed one card. Let's try using Chopper's block effect. When one of your cards is attacked, you can use a blocker to have the blocker card battle instead. Let's make Chopper battle Sheep Sheet instead of your leader Luffy. Oh, so it doesn't matter if one is active, it can still attack my leader? Time to activate that ability. So we'll choose Chopper to counter, and now he goes rested? Oh no, he gets destroyed. Let's activate another Chopper's blocker. Okay. So then that Chopper is destroyed, or trashed. You don't have a counter card in your hand, so you just have to take the damage. So if they're equal, what happens? Okay, you got a great card. Let's launch a counter attack. So if they're equal, we still take damage or we still lose a life regardless. So equal or greater causes you to lose a life, I guess. Go on and play the Luffy you just drew. And this isn't a leader Luffy card, it's a different Luffy card. Let's give character Luffy two Dawn cards when Luffy has two Dawn cards, your opponent can't use a blocker against a uh, blocker against an attack from Luffy. Oh. Okay. Next up, let's use your thousand sending effect to increase the character Luffy's power up. Is that 9,000 now? 
Then let's activate Leader Luffy's effect and give uh, Character Luffy another Dawn card. Now Character Luffy's power is at 10,000. Oh. Alright, attack Kaido with Character Luffy. Oh. So he can't block, but he's going to counter. But it's still lower. Now it's matched, but because it's matched, it still counts. Your opponent's counter has 10,000 power. When your power is equal, the attacking side wins. That means Luffy's won this battle, and since your opponent has zero life, you've won the game. Okay, so I was right. So if it's equal to or greater, the attack still pulls through. Alright. So battle Straw Hat Crew. <clears throat> Select opposing deck. The opposing deck? So I'm Straw Hat Crew, and they're Animal King of Pirates. Okay. Tap and hold a card to read more about it. Get a handle on card's effect to gain the upper hand in battle. Oh, so I get I get to just actually do this now. Okay, so I'm on my own. Uh do I redraw? <clears throat> No, let's keep our first hand. I have no idea. I, I could have just read their effects. Uh, so it's my first turn, so I'm going to draw one Dawn, and then I got to play a character. So, uh, Dawn, when attacking your, lead your leader or one of your characters other than this card gains a thousand power during this turn. Okay. This character gains one thousand power with one Dawn, okay. Nothing for Frankie. Uh, this is a counter or a trigger, so I think a trigger is like when you draw it, right? So your leader or one of your character gains 3,000 power. So we're going to keep that counter. And then uh, rush this card and attack on the turn in which it's played. So two Dawn. We only have one Dawn, so we can't do that. When attacking your opponent, can activate a uh, blocker during this battle. Okay, so uh, let's play Zoro out on the field. Can I not? Oh, wait, hold on. What's my... I, I don't understand. So, can I do one? What can I play? I can't play anything, right? Okay. So I, I guess I, all, all I can do is turn N? I, I don't know, I'm so lost. <clears throat> so they get two Dawn? Oh, because Dawn is the cost. So active Dawn is my cost, and then it goes to resting after I use it. Gotcha. Uh, once returned, give one rested Dawn card to your leader or one of your characters. Okay, so now I have three. So I could do that. So I'm gonna play Zoro out on the field, right? Uh, but he can't attack because it's okay. So all I can do is end my turn. Oh god, I hope I'm doing this right. I don't know what's going on. Uh, can I counter? What is it? So, let's see. Oh, it, Frankie is a counter card. Uh, so is Nami. So Nami and Frankie give a thousand for a counter, I guess. Uh, let's do Frankie. Uh, and then I'm done. Okay, so his attack fails. <clears throat> so it's equal. Oh, man. Uh... Do, let's counter again. So their attack failed. Okay. So now I have five. Okay, I, th I think I'm starting to get it. So <clears throat> first turn, you draw one Dawn. After that, you draw four, I believe. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so they're both rested. What do I want to do? When attacking your... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't have two extra Dawn, 
So, uh, when attacking your leader or one of your characters other than this card gains. Okay, so I'm going to play Jinbei out. And then I'm going to give Zoro some Dawn. And then because of that, this, he gains a thousand power when he attacks. I'm going to go for Kaido. He's going to counter. No, he's not. Okay, so I, I took a life. Great. All right. <clears throat> uh, I guess that's all I can really do. Okay. I'm not familiar with the Animal Kingdom Pirate deck, so I don't really know what they're doing. Oh god, they decimated Zoro. Uh, he's gonna attack... Oh god, it's making me nervous. Uh, 3,000? I don't know if I need that. Let's counter Nami. Alright. Cool, protected myself. Oh god, they're doing more. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna just lose a life, I guess. <clears throat> so I gain four. I'm going to... I'm going to... What am I gonna do? Uh, this card is a rush. Uh, 4,000 power. I don't think it's enough. <clears throat> Should I get rid of the attackers? This this is this is tough. Uh shoot. Let's play Sanji out. Let's activate his effect. So two. So I'm gonna give him two. And then uh your leader or one of your characters other than this card gains a thousand during battle. So I'm going to. I don't think I really need to do anything. Um, just in case, I'm going to power up Jinbei with one of my Rested Dawn. I think I'm going to use Sanji to, or Jinbei to attack one of his characters because I, I don't want him to have so many active attackers. And then I'm going to use Sanji to go for for Kaido for for the life. Okay. I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's it's making more sense. Oh god, King has so much attack. <sighs> Karu, go protect. Alright. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let it slide, I guess. Oh man, okay, so we're gonna play Sunny. Can I play Sunny? There we go. We're gonna play Sunny. You may rest this stage one. Uh, you may rest this stage. One Straw Hat crew type leader character gains a thousand during this turn. Okay. Uh, we also have. Shoot. Let's play Chopper out because he's a blocker type. And then. Uh, we'll power up Sanji. Shoot. This is tough. This is really tough. Uh, let's give him one more. And then let's attack Kaido. Or not. Damn. Let's do it again. Run it back. God dang, no! It was all for nothing! Oh no! This is tough!
He took out my life? What? We're gonna block. Oh no, I'm probably gonna lose this. Uh, pass. Guard point. Come on. There we go. Oh man, this is tough. Oh no, I can't do anything. All right, let's get Luffy out here. Uh, I'm gonna give him two, so I can attack this turn. And he's also a blocker. Uh, shoot. Let's power up Sanji. And then we'll give a rested dawn to this attacker, Luffy. So let's use Sanji to attack here. Because I want to get rid of some of their attackers, because he has way too many. Uh, let's attempt to attack Kaido. That's okay. What's this king do? Oh man, okay, let's get rid of this king. I don't like that king, that was dangerous. Okay, so turn end. I hope that was a, uh, that was that was smart to do. Uh, we're going to counter. And we're going to counter again. Alright, I, I saved myself for a turn. Uh, shoot. Let's put Jimbe out, because he can't counter anyway. We're going to power up Sanji, use Arrested Dawn to power up Sanji. We're going to power up our Luffy's. Sanji to take out X Drake. Hopefully. Luffy to, to attack twice. Oh god, he's can't. Okay, good. So that Luffy to attack. Oh god, he triggered. No! Alright. Attack Kaido. Oh, come on! You're kidding me! Ugh. Okay, that's all I can do. Oh no, I'm gonna lose! No! I lost! Oh, man, that's tough! That's tough! And I can't move on until I win! Oh no! Oh. Do I try again? That was that was a long one. Oh man. Uh shoot. Let's run it back one more time. All right, all right, all right. What are, what are these? Uh, select one of your straw hat crew type leader or characterize your, your opponent can activate block. Uh, no, I don't need that right now. Let's redraw. I think that's better. I don't know. 
Uh, so I have one. Uh, I can play a chopper blocker. And then I'll end my turn. Okay. So now I have four, or uh, three, three dawn. Okay. Um, what's Brook do? Give up two rested dawn cards to your leader or one of your characters. Uh, on play. So I don't have any rested dawn, so I don't want to waste that. That's a counter. I don't have enough. I can play Jimbe. He's not a rush anyway, so I can play Jimbe out on the field. And then maybe I can just <clears throat> power myself up and go after Kaido. Let's go. All right, that's good. Turn end. Put an ulti card out. Oh no. Uh, yeah, let's block this attack. let it go sorry chops all right uh, so we now have five uh, we can rush with Sanji so let's have Sanji out uh, let's use a rested Dawn to power up Sanji and then we'll have Jinbei attack but we'll also use Jinbei's effect. Oh, nice. We'll oh, I thought J Jinbei's effect allowed him to. We'll attack Kaido. Oh, come on. Okay, sure, whatever. And then we'll attack with our leader. Let's go. Let's go. We're doing better this time. I guess my turn's done. We're doing so much better this time. Oh god. Uh, he's attacking. So I am going to use Nami to counter. Uh, let's use... Oh god, I don't want to counter again. Oh, that's, that's not enough. Let's use Brook to counter. And then we'll use Frankie to counter. Oh, come on. Okay, we're going to let that one go. Vivi. She, I will use her as a counter. It's like when you draw a type leader or a character card, your opponent can activate blocker. Do they have blockers? Oh no, they're all they're all rested anyway, so they can't do anything. <clears throat> so, shoot. Uh, hmm. He's gonna flip. I can I can potentially finish this turn. Let's do it. Oh, I don't have, I don't have any rested dawn. So let's play VV actually. So we can get rested dawn, use the skill. Give a rested dawn to Jimbe. We can try to finish this off this turn. All right. So Jinbei, your leader or one of your characters in this card gains one during this turn. So I'm going to attack Kaido. So I'm going to power up our leader. It's gonna counter. Oh man. Okay, so that failed. Let's try with Sanji. One more. Let's go. Okay, so just one more. Just one more attack. Uh, 
I'll end my turn there. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. So it's between going for the life or going for the characters, because now he's flooding the field, which makes me really nervous. <clears throat> oh man. What is he doing? Uh, he's attacking my leader, so I'm gonna pass this one. Uh, attacking with who's or page one, so I'm gonna need guard point. So that fails. Attack with Kaido. Robin gives. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna let that slide. Oh man, I'm so nervous. Okay, so. Uh, I can't even attack this turn. Uh, I don't think he has any blockers he can use. So let's put Chopper out for a blocker. And then we'll use, we'll rest it on uh, Sanji. And you know what, we'll, we'll go all in this turn. We're gonna try and go for it. Let's go. Use all your resources. Let's go! Let's go! We won! Okay. Alright, 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 alright. All right. I'm getting the game now. I'm getting the game. Okay, we can play as Animal Kingdom Pirates now, but... Um, I think I'm gonna end it there, honestly. Like, I think I'm getting the game down. It, still a lot of it's iffy, but... Um, I like the mechanics of it so far. Uh, it's actually really cool. I, I definitely enjoy playing this. Um, especially with playing all the characters. Uh, from One Piece because you know just the love of the game just makes it way more interesting or love of the anime makes it more interesting uh, But yeah, uh, I Want to show off the super prelease event if I can if I can um, I will definitely post it if I cannot I'm sorry I'll, I'll post about it or something but yeah uh, If you enjoyed me Stumbling through this tutorial and trying to figure out what the hell is going on uh, make sure you leave a like uh, follow me on my Twitter my social media uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!